Hello everybody and welcome to Craig's here on the Roscommon Galway border for this uh, Connacht Under 14 Division 2B League final between Carrick and Shannon here to my left wearing the black and amber stripes or hoops if you like and off to the right we have Monive wearing the red and black hoops with black togs and black socks conditions. The ground surface is very good, 4G pitch of course, it's going to be in perfect condition for the match. However, we have a strong breeze blowing from left to right, the fog is down and the mist as well, so it's pretty dark here. Um, it's going to be difficult for handling for both sets of teams, but the conditions are the same for both Carrick and Shannon, who come into this game unbeaten in Division 2 of the league against Monivay. So we'll give you the two teams. First of all, the Carrick and Shannon lineup, and uh, they're captained by their out-half, Jack Mulek. And the Carrick and Shannon team is in the front row. Charlie McDermott, the loose head prop. Joshua Kevill is the hooker. Alan Byrne, tight head. Then Cody O'Brien and Sean McGreevy in the back row. Uh, in the second row, rather. And in the back row, it's Irla Martin, Alistair Eusen at uh, open side flanker, and Ronan Connolly is number eight. Half back division of Oren Byrne and Jack Mulick. And then on the left wing, you have Jamie Kieran, Charlie Slevin, and Ryan Costello in the centre, and Luke Charles on the right wing. And full back is Connor Kelly. The Monty Vey team. As the photographs are still being taken, the Monivay team, the front row of Ross Glynn, Jack Gannon and Patrick Quinn. Second row of Rian Collins and Leighton Fay. Back row division of uh, Dahi Kuncanon, Co Coleman Tierney and number eight, Joseph Healy. The halfbacks at scrum half, Rowan Burke. Out half, Michael Lewis. And then on the left wing, you have Josh Lowe, Matthew Ryan and Shane Lally, the captain in the centre. And on the right wing, Niall Fleet. Full back is Ethan Brennan. So there are the two teams, that's the lineup. The scene is set here in Craig's for this game. Both teams going through their final preparations under the watchful eyes of their respective coaching teams. Uh, Mike Gannon is the head coach of Money Vay and he's assisted by Kevin Lewis, the forwards coach, Callum Ford, the back coach, and Paul Brennan, the manager. The head coach of Carrington Shannon is Angus Martin and uh, they have uh, Porrick Gleeson as their forwards coach and Seamus Connolly as the backs coach. And, we're all ready to kick off. Looks like Carrick and Shannon will play with the aid of the breeze in the first half. They'll be kicking from left to right as we look on here in Craig's. And uh, let's hope we have uh, a good game between these two teams. It's Leitrim against Galway in this Connacht final, Division 2 league final. Big game for both of these squads and who will prevail. Last weekend, we had two great games in the under-17 final and the under-15 final where Sligo overcame Buccaneers in both matches. Uh, conditions were market, markedly better uh, on that occasion, but at the same time, the pitch is going to be in great condition. It's a 4G pitch, top quality facilities here at Craig's Rugby Club. And uh, both Carrick and Shannon and Money Vay all set for this game. Final preparations taking place. Look down to our right, you see the, the team photograph of Money Vay being taken. A nice support for Money Vay over to our right and down to our left with Carrick and Shannon support so who will it be? Will it be Carrick and Shannon or Money Vay crowned Connacht Division 2 league champions after this 60 minutes 30 minutes each half and Martin McDonald is the referee, Martin is a native of London but he's based in Galway and he will be refereeing this game and it looks like it will be Money Vay playing against the breeze in the first half who will kick off Michael Lewis number 10 who's a student at Presentation College Athen Wright ensuring all his players are behind him as he kicks off in this uh, Division 2 final here we go it's Michael Lewis into the breeze and it's well 
dropped, it's not uh, taken there, but it goes out and it's going to be a line out for Carrick and Shannon. Bit of indecision in the early seconds by the Carrick and Shannon back row there. Cody O'Brien looked like he was going to go for it, but it just uh, evaded him and it's gone out. It'll be a line out throw. I don't think it came off a Carrick and Shannon player. So it'll be, uh, in fact, it is a, a line out to the Monty Vey men and it's going to be taken by Jack Gannon. He's the hooker. He's from Presentation College at the right. He's going to throw into the line. Martin McDonald asking both sets of players to mind the gap. And uh, yes, it's a, a throw in for Carrick and Shannon. So it'll be Joshua Kevill who will throw in. So Joshua throws it to the front of the line out. It's there on the Carrick and Shannon side and they try to work it up the left wing. They get as far as the 22 metre line, held up by Monny Vey. And the rook is formed, the ball is protected and it's played into the centre. And uh, Carrigan Shannon making a very, very good break here. A lot of yardage made, and what a great drive by Carrigan Shannon in the opening moments. And uh, the rook is well formed, the ball is protected. It's there for the out half, Oren Byrne. And uh, it's held on to there by the out half with the orange boots. And that's uh, Jack Mulick. Goes to ground, ball protected. There for Oren Byrne once more. So this is Carrigan Shannon in the midfield. It's there inside. Defender, Charlie Slevin, Carrick and Shannon, gets it out here to Jack Mulick once more. So Jack, powerful man, and he goes out round the outside, gets past two or three players, but well taken down there by uh, Josh Lowe from Annie Vey. Good tackle by Josh Lowe, comes out to the Oren Byrne once more. And here comes the open side flanker, Alistair Eusen, making ground as Carrick and Shannon approach the halfway line in the opening stages. It's uh, there for Oren Byrne, plays it into the centre, Charlie Slevin once more. Charlie, three Monty Vey men tackling him, but he gets his pass out to the outside centre, Ron Costello, and Rian Costello sends out towards Jamie Kieran, but that's out over the touchline, and the ball went forward. It'll be a scrum to Monty Vey, just inside the Carrick and Shannon half, and Martin McDonald, the referee, signalling scrum to the Galway team. So, chance for Rowan Burke, the Monty Vey scrum half, to put into the scrum. Two and a half minutes gone now in the first half. And uh, some good play there on the Carrick and Shannon side. Some good yardage made by Tommy Mulick, uh, Jack Mulick rather, and uh, also by Rian Costello. But what a great tackle that was by Josh Lowe uh, for Monty Vey, Jack of Claren College at the right. The put in coming out for Rowan, Rowan Burke, but the referee has asked the respective teams to reset the scrum. He's not happy with something there. He's talking to the front rows and uh, laying down the marker in the opening stage is the referee to the front rows. So uh, that discussion is still taking place. The front rows, Ross Glynn, Jack Gannon, Patrick Quinn from Monty Vey, Charlie McDermott, Joshua Kevill and Alan Bryan for Carrick. So wherever you're watching the game, you're very welcome here to Craig's for this Connacht Under-14 Division Two final. Put in by Rowan Burke. So the ball is there at the Baker's Business Club. Rowan Burke has it. Gets it out now to his out half. Michael Lewis. Michael plays it into the centre. This is uh, Josh Lowe now. And he's well taken down. What a great tackle there. And uh, back on the Monty Vey side. And here comes Monty Vey across the halfway line. They have the ball. And it's there for the scrum half, Rowan Burke. Rowan to, to his number eight. But it goes slips to his hands. The ball didn't go forward. But Rowan Burke tidies it up brilliantly well. And he's been tackled there by Alistair Eusen. And still, Monty Vey have it with Patrick Quinn. He drives forward. It's Carrick and Shannon drive over the ball. And it's still there on the Carrick and Shannon side, but the referee not happy with something. He's going to give a penalty to Monty Vey. And it looks like the ball was played on the floor by a Carrick and Shannon player. Referee signalling there as Carrick and Shannon's Sean McGreevy had possession. So the quick tap from Rowan Burke gets it to his... Uh, Second row player, and that's uh, Rian Collins. Rian taken to ground, but brilliant play by the open side flanker, Coma Tierney. What great pace. He sends the ball out to the wing, and a very, very good covering tackle by a Carrick and Shannon player out there. And it's going to be a line out to Carrick and Shannon, halfway between the 22 metre line and the 10 metre line. But some great play there by the open side flanker, Coma Tierney. Made a great break, and Ronnie Vey have managed to get themselves deep into Carrick and Shannon territory. The line now coming now from Joshua Kevill of Carrick and Shannon Community College. And uh, 
he's got uh, the full back is into the line yeah and he's taken that ball Connor Kelly the height advantage there out to Jack Mulick and this is the inside centre Charlie Slevin he's taken down just outside the 22 it's back on the Carrick and Shannon side it's there for the number 8 and he works the ball out to his opposite flanker Alistair Euston of Sligo Grammar School and Carrick and Shannon out to the wing now Jamie Kieran he's running out of space he still has the ball he's held up by Monty Vey referee has signalled an advantage to Carrick and Shannon and it's going to be a penalty to Carrick and Shannon. I think high tackle is the uh, decision. Referee signalling up towards his head area. So it looks like high tackle. So it's going to be a penalty for Jack Mulick to kick. With the aid of the breeze, he's along the touchline. So it's going to be a difficult kick. So Jack sends it down the touchline and into touch, bringing play up towards the halfway line. So a very, very good kick by Jack Mulick. Not an easy kick, being close to the the touchline, Jack Mulick. His dad is a Kildare man from League Slip and his uncle Tommy Mulick, a famous Kildare Gaelic footballer for many, many years. So Jack, a nephew of Tommy Mulick, the, form, the, the Kildare footballer. And now this is a line-out throw-in for Joshua Kevill. Referee, again, talking to both sets of players to keep the gap of one metre. Nice throw-in. And it's taken well there by the full-back, Connor Kelly. And here come Carrick and Shannon up towards the halfway line with their open side flanker, Alistair Euston. It's very prominent in the early stages. Oren Byrne now into the centre, Charlie Slevin. Charlie does re really well, but the ball went forward and it's going to be a scrum to Manny Ve. And uh, referee signalling the forward uh, momentum on the ball at that time. So a put in now for Rowan Burke for Manny Ve. Seven minutes almost gone in the first half here in... Craigs uh, in this Connacht Division 2 league final between Carrick and Shannon wearing the black and amber hoops and Monty Vey of Galway wearing the red and black hoops. Monty Vey have dominated possession, dominated territory in the opening stages. Arguably Carrick and Shannon have dominated possession but they haven't really made inroads into Monty Vey territory. There's been no real attacking threat on the try line by either side yet. We're still waiting for that opening break, that opening piece of magic to carve open and punch a hole in the defences on both sides. And uh, let's hope we have uh, the great entertainment, that similar entertainment that we had last week in the under-15. It's a strike against the head by Carrick, and they have it with Oren Byrne to Jack Moolick, and now Jack can make ground, and he's uh, well taken down there just before the 10-metre line, back on the Carrick side, Oren Byrne once more plays it into his uh, second row forward, Cody O'Brien. Cody takes a pass to the 10-metre line. Still Carrick and Shannon drive forward. Rook is formed. Sean McGreevy protects the ball. It's there for Oren Byrne. He has his number eight outside him. And that's uh, Ronan Ron Connolly. Still Carrick and Shannon. Now Jack Mulick once more into the open side. Frantic Alistair Euston. Here is uh, Roy and Costello. Ryan outside now to Luke Charles. The ball goes back. And Jamie Kieran goes down to protect the ball. Oren Byrne once more. This is Sean McGreevy now wearing the black skull cap. He's taken down short of the 10 metre line. Monty Vey pile in. Referee has an advantage played towards the Carrigan Shannon players as they drive with Charlie Slevin. Charlie held up. Oren Byrne, nice chip forward, but it's out on the full, but it's going back for the no advantage played. So a penalty to Carrigan Shannon just approaching the Monty Vey 10 metre line. So uh, a chance for. Jack Moody to kick for good territory, good field position. He's playing with the aid of the breeze, so he should be able to maybe get this ball deep into Monty Vey's 22. So uh, Jack Moody of Mohull Community School, kicking with his right foot, sends it high, and it's in touch, and uh, it's halfway inside the 22. It's an excellent kick by Jack Moody. And it brings play deep into Monty Vey territory for the first time, really, that Carrick have had a really top uh, attacking platform and a very, very good field position. Can they make it count? Seen, we've in, seen um, over the last, in recent times, so many uh, tries coming from the line out. And let's see what Carrick can engineer here in Monty Vey territory. So Joshua Kevill, the man to throw into the line out. Conor Kelly, the big fullback. Assists in there, and it's thrown in towards Kelly. Zorn Byrne, Sean McGreevy, a real battering ram player. Big, big, strong man. 
And it's back on the Carrick side to Oren Byrne to Jack Mulick into his inside forward. Charlie Slevin. Charlie making some good ground. Held up on the 22 metre line. It's still there for Carrick and Shannon. And uh, it's been stolen. Brilliant piece of robbery by Patrick Quinn on the Monivay side. And Monivay have uh, got an advantage for a knock on as well. So it's going to be a scrum to Monivay on the 20, their own 22 metre line. And this is a big moment for Monivay here to protect the ball and clear their lines. So both sets of front rows going down once more. Charlie McDermott, Joshua Kevill and Alan Bryan on the Carrick side. Ross Glynn, Jack Gannon and Patrick Quinn in the engine room or the boiler room for Money Vay. The ball is played in the scrum. A big shove by the Carrick men. The scrum has wheeled. The referee says it's okay. It's there for the scrum half Rowan Burke and the kick forward. Nice chip forward. And it's well taken there by Conor Kelly. And he's well taken down. Outside the 10 metre line has the ball gone forward. Referee says no. Oren Byrne has it. Gets it now to his prop forward, Charlie McDermott. Driving forward, well taken down by Leighton Fay. Back on the Carrick and Shannon side. This is the uh, right winger, Jamie Kearden, acting scrum half. Jack Mulick. Jack evades the tackle. Still Jack Mulick. Take, takes three men to bring him down. Short of the 22. Ball back on the Carrick and Shannon side for Oren Byrne. And the referee blows his whistle. Interference on the floor by a Monty Vey player. And it's going to be a penalty for Carrick and Shannon just outside the 22. And it's a an eminently kickable uh, chance if ordinarily with that breeze but maybe Jack Mulick might decide to tap and go and that's what I think they're going to do Oren Byrne of Anaduff is going to tap this penalty or is he going to kick for the no he's going to tap it here he comes this is uh, Sean McGreevy well done by Sean rolls forward about 10 metres back for Oren Byrne Orn outside, and this is a brilliant break. What a break by the number eight! And in under the post goes Ronan Connolly of Drumshambo and Carrick and Shannon. And what a score! Ronan Connolly, that piece of magic. Oren Burns quick tap. Sean McGreevy made all the yardage, and then the ball came free. Oren Burn played it to his number eight, and he saw the gap and he ghosted through the center underneath the post. And what a score by Ronan Connolly. And that puts Carrick and Shannon into the lead on the 13th minute. What a brilliant break by the Carrick and Shannon number eight. That piece of magic that we were talking about, we were hoping for, that one piece of uh, ingenuity. And Ronan Connolly, what pace. He saw the gap and Monty Vey just couldn't get a tackle on him. But to credit to uh, the uh, drive by Sean McGreevy, who made about 10 metres after the quick tap by Oren Byrne. But Ronan Connolly, what a finish by a number eight. More consistent with a centre or a full back or, an out or a winger. But the pace he used there to get through was, was incredible and puts his team into the lead. So Ronan Connolly has got the opening score, an opening try for Carrick and Shannon. Five minutes, five, five points to Carrick as treatment has been given now to Conan, Coleman Tierney. So Coleman hobbling. And uh, it's sad to see Conan... Uh, leaving the field of play so that's a desperate hard look for Coleman who had a very good opening 14 minutes made some very very good line breaks and he's replaced now by the man wearing number 20 that's James Ivory who's a second row forward so James Ivory is in so can Jack Mulick add the after so James Ivory for Coleman here and here comes Jack and he sends it between the posts and that's Seven points now to Carrick and Shannon and James Ivory, where number 20 is in the Money Bay team. So, how can Money Bay react to that? Can they respond? Uh, what will they muster up from this restart? So, it's Carrick and Shannon seven, Money Bay yet to register, but you have to remember. Monty Vey are playing against a very strong breeze in the first half here at Craig's in this Division 2 Connacht final. And here is the restart coming up from Michael Lewis of Presentation College at the right and of Monty Vey. So Michael chips it up nicely and uh, it's well, well taken there by Rian for Rian Costello for Carrick and Shannon. 
And uh, the referee gives the penalty to the Money Vay team. And a chance now for Money Vay to get some good field position here. Quick tap coming up from the uh, scrum half. And uh, a long, big drive here by the number 12, Matthew Ryan. His first real movement in the game. The ball spills forward in the contact. It's back in the Carrick and Shannon side. The referee is playing advantage for the knock-on, but Orenberg gets it to Jack Mulek. Now Jack gets past once, plays into centre to Rian Costello. And uh, here come Carrick and Shannon with a very good break once more by the winger, Luke Charles. And uh, here they come with Sean McGreevy. All the power taken down on the 10 metre line. And uh, Carrick and Shannon have the advantage of a penalty coming up. The referee allows the play to continue. Oren Byrne to a second row forward, Cody O'Brien. And still the advantage is being played, but Carrick and Shannon still have possession with Oren Byrne. Maybe the referee will say advantage over in a moment. Here comes Rowan Connolly once more to try score. Advantage over. What a break once more by Rowan Connolly. Oren Byrne has it. Carrick and Shannon just close to the 10 metre line. Sean McGreevy taken down on the 10 metre line. Monive doing a lot of work in defence in the opening 15 minutes. And here comes the open side flanker. Alistair Hewson, Alistair still in possession, a very very good break by Alistair, taken down just inside the 22, so a good play by the Carrigan Shannon men, they've come a long long way and the ball is back on their side, the penalty advantage is there for them, Oren Byrne waiting for it, but it comes to Rian Costello, Charlie Slevin, now it's Rian Costello, he's got men outside him, he's got Jack Charles, J Luke Charles rather, but the referee's coming back for the penalty and it's going to be penalty for Carrick and Shannon just inside the Money Vay 22 metre line this has been a very good spell for Carrick and Shannon they've got their try and they've got uh, a good attacking platform here once more just inside the 22 maybe Oren Byrne will kick to the corner so we'll see a we'll quick tap indeed similar position to where the first try came from McGreevy so will Ronan Connolly come to try and pick this up and carve his way through once more so McGreevy goes down, Oren Byrne, scrum half, working it there. Back to Ronan Con Connolly. This is a real pre planned training ground move, but Ronan Connolly taken down this time by the Money Vay defence. Still back at the Carrick and Shannon side. They drive forward. Charlie McDermott edging towards the try line. And still Carrick pummel that try line. Here they come with their Irla Martin. Once more, it's Oren Byrne. Back to Irla Martin again, just short of the line. Carrick and Shannon in a very, very good position. The referee says there's no interference there on the ground. So play on. So Carrick and Shannon still driving and edging towards the try line. Are they, are they over? They're not. The referee looking on closely. And it's there for the number six, Erla Martin. He looks to be in. And he's in. Erla Martin is in. And Erla Martin has scored. Erla Martin, after 19, 18 minutes of play, has scored the second try of the game for Carrick and Shannon. They're there, camped on the line, Ordenburn and Irla Martin went low, and got his body over the line, and he has scored the second try of the game for Carrick and Shannon, the second try uh, of the match, and that makes it 12 points to no score now. That's Irla Martin, who uh, attends Cistercian College in Ross Gray and plays his rugby for Carrick and Shannon. So a really strong performance here in the opening 20 minutes by Carrick and Shannon. A great try by Rowan, Ronan Connolly in the 13th minute and then in the 19th minute, Irla Martin got the second try. That's the uh, blind slide flanker. And a chance now for Jack Moody. This is a very difficult kick for an under-14 player from the edge of the 22, way out on the sideline. So here comes Jack and that's going to be held up against the breeze. And it'll be a 22-metre dropout for Manny Ave. So 12 points to no score. Carrick and Shannon lead. And uh, wherever you're watching us in the world, uh, you're very welcome to Craig's here on the Roscommon Galway border. Craig's located one mile inside the Galway border. It's about eight or nine miles from Roscommon town. And uh, a famous town, Craig's being the, the last uh, village or town in Ireland that Charles Stuart Parnell spoke in before he died in 1891. There's a big monument outside the pitch here at Craig's commemorating the last visit of Charles Stuart Parnell or the last speech made by him on Irish soil. So here we back to the action and Michael Lewis of Prez Athenry and Money Vay kicks it up but Sean McGreevy goes back words 
and picked up by Alistair Yusin. And Alistair, what a great break and some great handoffs. But what a tackle there by Josh Lowe. Still Carrigan Shannon drive forward. Irla Martin take it up towards the 10 metre line. It's there for Oren Byrne. Oren, the ball went forward, I think, at the base of the rook. And uh, just with those greasy conditions from the rain, Oren, it's uh, one of those things that scrum halves and out halves and every player has to deal with in, in the wet conditions is the, the greasy ball from the, the drizzle that's coming down here since the game has started. So again, it's a uh, scrum down, put in coming out from Rowan Burke for Athen Wright. And uh, the referee having a word there with the two sets of prop forwards. Again, Charlie McDermott, Josh Kevill and Alan Bryan on the Carrick and Shannon side. And then Ross Glynn, Jack Gannon and Patrick Quinn for the men wearing red and black hoops. So, crouch, engage is the bind and set. So the Rowan Burke puts the ball in. Good steady scrum by both sets of forwards. And... Uh, Good play there by Michael Lewis and a lovely pass outside. And this is Shane Lally, the captain and the referee, going back now to check on Michael Lewis, who went down after a heavy tackle. 12 points to Carrick and Shannon. Monny Vey yet to register. Referee has held up the play. Monny Vey dealt a blow early in the game when uh, Coleman Tierney, the very, very impressive open side flanker, had to be replaced. And James Ivory has come in for Coleman. Tierney. So we'll just give you the teams if you haven't heard them so far. If you just joined us, it's Monty Vey, Ross Glynn, Jack Gannon, Patrick Quinn, Rian Collins, Leighton Fay, Dahi Concannon, James Ivory, replaced Coma Tierney, and Joseph Healy, number eight, Rowan Burke, Michael Lewis, the halfback division, Josh Loeb, Matthew Ryan, Shane Lally, Matt Nile Fleet, and Ethan Brennan. Carrigan Shannon, Charlie McDermott, Josh Kevill, Alan Bryan, Cody O'Brien, Sean McGreevy, Irla Martin, Alistair Hughes, and Rowan Connolly, Rowan Connolly. And then Oren Byrne, Jack Mulick, Jamie Kearden, Charlie Slevin, Rian Costello, Luke Charles and Connor Kelly. Two tries have come in 13th minute from Rowan and Connolly. The number eight for Carrick and Shannon, a big break. And then on the 19th minute, Irla Martin. And that's a, just a <coughs> unfortunate error there, but that's the way it goes. It can happen in any grade of sport. And uh, so... Uh, Rowan will just put that to the back of his mind, I'm sure. So it'll be put in for Carrick and Shannon at the scrum. And again, Oren Byrne, very, very busy scrum half, really serving his uh, back line very, very well with the quality of ball coming from the rooks and from the scrum for the young man. And a duff based. So Oren Byrne puts the ball in. Good shunt on by the Monty Vey men. Scrum has wheeled, but the referee allows play continue. Carrick and Shannon have it. And uh, they take it up almost to the 22-meter line. There for the scrum half, Oren Byrne, and he dinks his way past two or three players to make a couple of yards of, of ground. The ball protected well, driving on to Charlie McDermott for Carrick towards the 22. They're looking for that third try. They're really turning the screw. The number four there, Cody O'Brien, passes it outside. Well picked up there by Jamie Kearden. What great hands and handling in that con those conditions. And uh, it's out for a line out now to the Money Vey men. They really need the next score or really need to ensure they don't concede again uh, in the first half from their point of view. Carrick, of course, another try for them would really put them in the box seat in this final. So the next score in this game will be a big one and will be a, could be a huge determining factor as to the destination of the, the league championship for 2021. So a line out throw, Jack Gannon to throw. He's got some big targets in there. Ross, Rian Collins and Leighton Foy, but it's stolen by Conor Kelly for Carrick and Shannon. Here comes Jack Mulick. He's got Rowan Connolly coming into the line now. This is uh, Irla Martin, the try scorer. Good tackle there by Steve Shane Lally. Takes him down on the 22 metre line. The ball spills out of the ruck. And the referee has given a penalty to Carrick and Shannon on the Money Bay 20 metre line. James Avery uh, handing the ball back to the Carrick and Shannon and Jack Mulick, and he's looking for the kicking tee. And uh, the kicking tee being brought in by Parik Leeson there, the forwards coach for, for uh, Carrick and Shannon. That's Parik coming off now. 
So this is Jack Mulig with the penalty, the green tee. And Jack, very, very good player, very good out half. Impressive so far in this game. He's kicked one conversion. And now he's a chance to add a penalty. So Jack playing against the breeze. Remember, this is not an easy kick. Here he comes. Sends it in. And uh, brilliantly over the bar. Between the posts. So that's a, a penalty for Jack Mulick. 26 minutes almost played in the first half. And Jack Mulick makes it 15 now to Carrick and Shannon. And Monive still searching, still looking for and trying to engineer craft, fashion, an opening score. But remember, they're playing against a very, very strong breeze here at Craig's. There's a drizzle coming down as well. The ball is very, very greasy. Difficult conditions for both teams, but you have to say that both teams are managing the handling element of the game extremely well. So this is uh, Michael Lewis to restart. So here comes Michael, kicking towards the left touch line, and it's well taken there by Charlie Slevin. So Charlie, brilliant, what a great jump tackle. A brilliant tackle. And uh, it's back on the Carrick and Shannon side, and they come forward. But that tackle was with Shane Lally and Monty Vey. What a brilliant tackle. And it spins forward, spins out with this rook, and referee, it's a knock on. Who knocked on first? And it's going to be Carrick and Shannon put in. And the referee has blown his whistle. And um, that's the half-time whistle. 25 minutes played in the first half. And Carrick and Shannon have gone in leading by 15 points to nil. And just to recap on the real key events of the first half. The first score came in the 13th minute. Carrick and Shannon had a penalty outside the Monivea 22. A quick tap by Oren Byrne to Sean McGreevy. Sean made some great yardage. And when the ball came out of the ruck, Rowan and Connolly raced through about 20, 20 metres through a forest of Monivea defenders to run in under the post for the opening score. The conversion was kicked by Tommy Mulick. And then on the 19th minute, Irla Martin, the blindside flanker for Carrick and Shannon, picked up the pass on the line, on, almost on the line from Oren Byrne, and he drove in and over for the second try of the game, and the second try for Carrick and Shannon to make it 12 points to no score. The, the conversion uh, was missed, and then T Jack Mudik on the 26th minute, a minute into overtime, if you like, he kicked a penalty from straight in front of the post against a very, very strong breeze, and he made it 15 points to no score. So... Carrick and Shannon in a really good position here at the moment, but Monivea will have the breeze in the second half. They will need the first score of the second half to get themselves back into the game. But for the moment, uh, it's 15 points to Carrick and Shannon. Monivea yet to register, and we'll be back with you in a few moments for the second half here at Craig's in the Connacht Under-14 Division 2 final between Carrick and Shannon, Monivea, and the Carrick men have the advantage at the interval.
And you're very welcome back here to Craig's for the second half of the Connacht Under-14 Division 2 League Final. It's the B Division. Carrick and Shannon in the lead. 15 points to no score if you've just joined us here in Craig's on the Roscommon Galway border. We've had one sub at half-time. Sean McGreevy has left the field of play for Carrick and Shannon. And uh, Charlie Slev uh, Luke Charles has gone into the second row. And in comes Sean Gaffney wearing number 21. So Jack Moody kicks off and the ball has gone forward. It'll be a scrum to Carrigan Shannon and uh, the ball is put out of play. So, a really good tackle there on Jamie Kearden. And the tackle came in from Niall Fleet. It's a very, very strong tackle by Niall Fleet. And Jamie just injured at the moment. Let's hope he's okay to continue. Carrigan Shannon warming up their number 20. That's uh, Alex Copley. So, uh, Alex ready to go in if, if need be. So Alex Copley is coming in and Jamie Kieran is going to come off the Carrick and Shannon teams. Alex Copley wearing number 20. He's going to come in on the on the left wing for Carrick and Shannon. Team wearing black and amber and the referee is bringing play back for the scrum for the knock on uh, by Patrick Quinn. Just an unfortunate knock on by Patrick Quinn. Money Vay. Uh, tight head prop. So Jamie still receiving attention on the, on the touchline here. So it's 12 points to Carrick and Shannon. So Jamie Kieran seems to be okay. So the put in coming from Oren Byrne, just outside the 10 metre line. Money Vay's 10 metre line, that is. Alex Copley is in on the Carrick and Shannon team. So Oren Byrne with the put in. And uh, it's a back row move. Well taken there by Charlie Seven. Gets it to Oren Byrne once more as he jinxes his way forward. Lovely ball dinked into the 22. Covering there is. Josh Low, so Josh does really well, shows great footwork, and uh, he's taken down just before the 22, still there for the Money Vay men, Michael Lewis kicks forward, and well taken in the air by Alistair Euston, still Carrick and Shannon, pile forward with the second row, Cody O'Brien, Cody O'Brien of Drumlish in Longford, and Carrick and Shannon, the ball presented back on the Carrick and Shannon side for Oren Byrne. Gets it into the middle to his open side flanker. Alistair Euston. Good hand off by Alistair against Patrick Quinn. Jack Mulick. Lovely offload, but the ball went forward in the pass from Jack Mulick to Irla Martin. It's going to be a scrum, but the referee has signalled a penalty to Moni Vey just outside their own 22 metre line. So Moni Vey with a chance now to relieve the pressure from their own half of the field. And a quick tap. And uh, really good play here by the cat by Money Vay. This is their winger, Niall Fleet. Still on the Money Vay side, but the referee penalises Money Vay for holding on, not releasing in the tackle. And uh, Money Vay have introduced Cormac Morris at scrum half. So Cormac Morris, wary number 21, has been introduced by Money Vay at scrum half. So Jack Mulick with the penalty for Carrick and Shannon on the halfway line. So this time, Jack kicking into the teeth of a breeze. Right foot a kick that's not in touch. Going back at the full back there. Ethan Brennan, but it's a nasty bounce. So Ethan has it. Ethan with the green boots. And that's a great kick up field by Ethan Brennan. Well taken by Sean Gaffney. So Sean driving forward, gets past two Money Vay players. Penalty advantage coming for Carrick and Shannon and uh, this is Jack Moolick now driving towards the 22 he offloads it but the referee comes back for an, a previous indiscretion or previous infringement and uh, he's bringing play back into the Money Vay 22 and it's going to be a penalty for Carrick and Shannon midway inside the Money Vay 22 so Carrick and Shannon now about to introduce uh, Kevin Higgins who's a prop and uh, Kevin Higgins will wear number 18. 
and he replaces Alan Bryan. So Kevin Higgins is in for Carrick. In fact, it's Matthew French is in. Matthew French. Matthew French is in for Carrick and Shannon. Wearing number 18, Matthew French. And a quick tap coming once more. Charlie Slevin is there. Rowan and Connolly. And uh, this is going to be a quick tap. Manny Vey preparing for this onslaught now. So a chance for Carrick and Shannon to extend their advantage. Here comes Oren Byrne. Goes to Ronan Connolly. Ronan, powerful player, well taken down. Offloads it lovely to Jack Mulick. He's got Sean Gaffney outside. He kicks towards the corner. Covering is Josh Lowe. And Josh Lowe, I think he's, does he get the touchdown? The referee, it looks like a Monty Vey player got the touchdown in the in goal area. And it'll be a 22 dropout because it's good covering there by Josh Lowe. The left winger for Manny Vey. And the referee is awarding a scrum. It's going to be a scrum to Carrick and Shannon. So Manny Vey introduced another substitute. So Jack Bird, um, Niall uh, Robinson is in for Manny Vey, wearing number 24, and he replaces the number five, Leighton Foy. Leighton Foy is off. And Jack Robinson is in for Manny Vey. So Jack will be wearing the number... We'll give you the number in a moment. But uh, definitely Jack Robinson is in on the Manny Vey team. So the scrum forward for... Uh, Carrigan Shannon in a very, very dangerous position from a Manny Vey point of view. Five metre scrum. Put in coming from Oren Byrne. And Carrick in a very strong position. They're leading by five, 15 points to no score. And this is a chance for them now to extend the lead and here they come the ball is on the try line almost and the referee gives an advantage to Carrick and Shannon but can they get over the try line and they're held up a penalty once more to Carrick and Shannon and uh, Manny Vey calling for a substitute maybe an injury to a Manny Vey player over there and uh, the physio will have to go in and treat that player let's hope he's okay and uh, Carrick and Shannon, 15, Money Vade yet to score. We have seven and a half minutes played now in the second half of this Connacht Division 2 league final between Money Vay of Galway and Carrick and Shannon, the County Leitrim team. So, another substitute been brought in by Carrick and Shannon, and in comes Aidan McNiff. So, Aidan McNiff of Carry Gallon and Carrie and Shannon wearing number 17. He's in. So Aidan McNiff is in. And uh, Matthew French is in. Alex Copley is in for Carrick and Shannon as well. And Niall Robinson has come in for Money Vey, as has Cormac Morris at uh, Scrum Half. So Trip has still been afforded to a Money Vey player. As uh, Carrick and Shannon's management team ring the changes. And now, thankfully, Patrick Quinn is okay to continue. It's going to be a tap penalty for Oren Byrne once more. They've yielded some good scores from tap penalties in the first half, the two tries. So here's Oren. Offloads it and they're driving now. It's a driving mall towards the line. Carrigan Shannon, are they in? Are they over? The referee looking intently on as Carrick inches away now from the whitewash. But the referee says it's held up and uh, maybe this will be a Carrigan Shannon five metres from. So the referee having a word with 
some players there. Is it turned over? And uh, referee still talking to the Monivay players, and Monivay get the decision. So brilliant work by the Monivay defenders, and uh, they earned themselves a penalty. So tremendous work by Monivay on their own goal line, and their own try line, and they managed to steal that ball from the Carrick and Shannon forwards, and that's a brilliant piece of play. And credit there to Patrick Quinn and the Monivay front row, Jack Gannon, Ross Glynn, penalty taken and sent well down the touchline. So good kick by Michael Lewis and Carrick and Shannon have the, our uh, Money Vay will have the line out just before the 10 metre line, 10 minutes gone in the second half. Carrick and Shannon still have that 15 point advantage. Carrick and Shannon 15, Money Vay yet to register but what great work by the uh, Money Vay defence there to win themselves a penalty. Carrigan and Shannon were pummeling the line and threatening a third try from that tap penalty. And the open side flanker um, did really, really well for... Blind side flanker did really well for Money Bay on that occasion. So the throw into the line out here from Jack Gannon. It's stolen by the Carrigan and Shannon. Oren Byrne, Jack Mulek into the line. Kicks cross field, diagonal ball. Going back for it there. Is Nile Fleet, but and really well taken. And Carrick and Shannon pile in. Referee has his whistle in his mouth, but Money Vay cleared their lines brilliantly. Michael Lewis, brilliant kick up field. Awkward one there for Connor Kelly to deal with. But Connor shows great pace and uh, fleet of foot, but well taken down by Patrick Quinn. Now it's Jack Mulick taking the ball forward. Across the 10 metre line, he's taken down, presents the ball to his forwards. Oren Byrne is there to collect it. Gets it into Connor Kelly once more. Connor to Alistair Hewson. Across the 10 metre line. This is Charles. Drives the ball up to the left wing. And this is a chance of a try for Carrick and Shannon. Depends on the bounce. It's brilliantly picked up. And what a score! A brilliant try. Alex Copley. What a great cross field kick by Jack Mulek. Diagonal ball. And Alex Copley was charging onto it. And what great handling by Alex Copley to hold the ball first time pick it up, drive in and drive over the goal line, the try line and capture a third try for the Carrick and Shannon men and Carrick and Shannon with that ring the changes. Alex Copley, 12 minutes into the second half, gets the try and uh, Carrick and Shannon introduce two more substitutes. So Alex Copley gets the credit So Alex Copley with the try. But what a great cross-field kick by Jack Mulek. They kick the ball into space, outside of the boot, diagonal ball, and Copley there to execute. So this is a difficult kick now for Jack Mulek to convert this, but he kicks it in brilliantly. Has he the distance? It has! What a score by Jack Mulek. And against the breeze to boot. And what a great strike of a ball for an under 14 player to convert that. Absolutely excellent. And uh, Jack Moody gets his second conversion to add to the previous one and a penalty he got before half time. So Carrick now 22 points to the good here. 22, 22 points to the good. 15. They led by at half time, and now that try by Alex Copley, converted by Jack Mulek, brings the Carrick and Shannon tally to 22. So Carrick have introduced more substitutes. We'll give you details of that in a few moments when we get. And they've introduced their number 17, that's Aidan McNiff. They've introduced Matthew French, Alex Copley, of course, already. And. Uh, some great performances there by Carrick and Shannon players, Charlie Slevin, Jack Mulek, Oren Byrne has come off the scrum half, they've replaced their scrum half. And with uh, 14 minutes gone now in the second half, 11 to play, Michael Lewis to restart. The wind is really swirling here. 
played up by Michael Lewis. Well taken by the second row forward, Cody O'Brien. Takes it past the 10 metre line, offloads it. Carrigan Shannon penalised for a forward pass there by Cody O'Brien in the tackle. And the referee signalling a scrum to the Money Bay men. Just short of the Carrigan Shannon 20, uh, 10 metre line. So Money Bay have battled really gamely in this game and deserve a score. And uh, it, it would be great for the game if Money Bay did get the next score, that score they deserve. But they have a, a lot of work to do to get from their current position, just short of the Carrigan Shannon 10 metre line, to the try line. And the put in is coming from Rowan Burke. So put into the scrum, free kick to Monive. And uh, referee penalising Carrigan Shannon on that occasion. So, of course, the ball. Has to be the, free, the penalty been taken by the replacement scrum half, that's Cormac Morris. So Cormac Morris, Cormac Morris to take this. Of course, Rowan Burke has been replaced. A quick tap, good drive forward, presented back on the Monivet. It spills out of the rook, collected there by Cormac Morris. Well done by the replacement scrum half. Monivet are held up and they have the ball back. And referee gives the penalty to Monivet. And good work by the hooker there for Money Vay, Jack Gannon, in the mix there, as Patrick Quinn has gone down injured for Money Vay. So Cormac Morris doing pretty well there as scrum half. And uh, Patrick Quinn receiving attention. Nine minutes gone in the nine minutes to play. It's 22 to Carrick and Money Vay yet to register. So you're very welcome, as I said earlier. We're here in Craig's on the Roscommon Galway border. And it's the final of the under four, Connacht Under-14 League final for the B division. Coming up after this game, we'll have Buccaneers and Sligo in the Under-14 League A division. And that should be another great game. So just the rest of the subs for Manny Vame, Noel Murray, Sean Mitchell, Kevin Higgins, Kean, Kieran Mahoney, James Ivory, Cormac uh, Morris, Brian O'Shaughnessy, Jamie Gill, Niall Robinson, Daniel Morden, Josh McDonald, Kean Feeney and Garroj Diskin. And Carrick and Shannon subs, some of them are in already, like Kieran Haupt, Aidan McNiff, Matthew French, Jack Pryor, Alex Copley, Sean Gaffney, Richie Gavikin, Jack Byrne, Jack Lynch. So, still treatment being given. And Monty Vey bring in their number 19, Kieran Mahoney. So Kieran is a second row forward. And they also introduce Noel Murray as replacement hooker. So Noel Murray is in as replacement hooker. And giving all the players a run out now. So the substitutes in and uh, players making their way. Connor Kelly being replaced on the Carrick and Shannon team. And uh, he's had a great game in the full back position. So Kevin, Higg Kevin Higgins is in now on the Money Bay side. So let's hope Patrick Quinn is okay to continue. He's been down a few minutes now. So let's hope he's okay. And I think he is, yeah. Powerful player Patrick Quinn has had a solid game for Money Vay today. Made some good yardage, carried the ball well, and uh, I think this could be the end of Patrick's game for his final. But uh, he's left everything out on the field, and a great performance by the, the tight head prop for Money Vay. And he's been applauded off the field by his supporters. Six minutes left here at Craig's in the final. So that's Patrick being escorted off the field after a fine, fine performance. So this is uh, Cormac Morris now with the quick tap for Money Vay just inside the 10 metre line. And, uh, 
So it's Patrick going off, and here comes Manny Vey. What can they work here? A near interception, and Carrick men are through. Here the Martin once more, but great scramble defence by the Manny Vey men, and great dumb tackle as uh, Carrick still maraud into the 22 metre line. This is the replacement, scrum half, to Earl Martin once more. Got the second try, of course, in the game. Ball back on the Carrick and Shannon side. And uh, Jack Mulek with that cross feed kick once more. Referee has blown his whistle. And he's coming back maybe for a penalty. Is it offside? I think it's offside, the signal is. And it'll be a penalty to Carrick and Shannon on the Monivay 22 metre line. So Jack Mulek, the man that's going to take it. So Jack, again, the quick tap is the play. Ronan Connolly is the player lining up to take position, possession, as is Charlie Slevin. But Jack taps it to himself and runs. What a powerful runner, what a powerful player. And uh, he's making his way towards the line. He's looking for his forwards now to shove him on. Ball goes to ground, the rook is formed, the ball is back on the Carrick and Shannon side. And this is a chance for Carrick now to add to their lead. This is Charlie Slevin, held up on the line. Great defensive work by the Monty Vade defence. Still there for Carrick and Shannon. And they're held up on the line. And pushed back. So, still there. And the drive comes forward. It's Alistair Eusen and he's through and over. Alistair Eusen, the man with the try. So Alistair Eusen, all that hard work by the forwards pays off. And uh, when the ball came out, good work by the scrum half there. And Alistair Eusen, wearing number seven, taking the pass from Kieran Haupt and he drives in and over the line under the post and that's a good try for Alistair Eusen of Sligo Grammar School and Carrick and Shannon Rugby Club so Alistair Eusen with the try 47th minute and a chance now for Jack Mulek to add the conversion so Jack Mulek straight in front of the post Chance now to make it 29 points. And he sends it straight over. That's the third conversion for Jack Moody. That's nine points in total for Jack in this game. So 29 points now to Carrick and Shannon. And a very powerful and strong performance by the Leitrim team. So Jack Moody between the posts. We have three minutes of uh, normal time, regulation time, to play together with the additional time for stoppages and there was a few stoppages in the game and uh, thankfully all the players are okay and Patrick Quinn particularly put in a great performance for Manny Bay but had to leave the field to play with due to injury a few moments ago so Michael Lewis once more to restart for Manny Bay they trail 29 points and uh, Michael gets a good kick brilliant kick just across the 20 metre line or 10 metre line rather Sean Gaffney goes high in the clouds to catch it it's there for Alex Haupt on the Carrick and Shannon side with Charlie Slevin pass outside to Alex Copley what great pace up the wing and a good tackle by Michael Lewis and he takes him out of play so Michael Lewis read the danger as Alex Copley was about to take off in search of a second try for himself in the game but Michael Lewis really did well to make the tackle and the referee is given the scrum to Monty Vey on the Carrick and Shannon 10 metre line two minutes of regulation time plus stoppage time to play and uh, it's going to be a put in for Manny Vey Conor Morris the man to feed the scrum Manny Vey coaches giving all their players a run here today it's great to see and Carrick and Shannon also in this final and uh, referee having a word with Manny Vey front row so Martin McDonald from Galway the referee Bind and set. Cormac Morris feeds it in, but a big shove by Carrick. And the referee's going to reset this. Massive shove. And uh, put in once more for Cormac Morris. It's been a great performance by the Carrick and Shannon team. Comprehensive victors here today in this game. Four tries and a penalty. And uh, 
Crouch bind and set signal. Good steady scrum. Both sides maintain an equilibrium in the scrum. Cormac Morris picks it up well, gets it out here. Brian O'Shaughnessy, good play by Monty Vay. They take the ball into the midfield. The number eight on the ball now. Joseph Healy. And they drive forward in search of the score they deserve, but the ball has been stolen. And Jack Mulick has it for Carrick and Shannon. Just outside is 22. Really good play by Jack Mulick. Driving forward. He's made about 15 metres of ground. He loses the ball in the tackle. He should be back on the Monty Vay side, and they have it. Referee blows his whistle. The ball went forward in the tackle. It'll be a scrum to Monty Vay, just short of the Carrick and Shannon 10 metre line. That's the 50 minutes up now, the 25 minutes in both halves, but there has been at least three, four, five minutes of uh, stoppages throughout the second half, which Mark McDonald will add on. And Carrick has scored four tries. They've got two in the first half, one from Ronan Connolly and Irla Martin. Two in the second half from Alistair Hewson and Alex Copley. Added that, three conversions from the out half, Jack Mulick and a penalty from Jack Mulick also. So a good play there by the number eight for Money Bay, Joseph Healy, bringing the play up towards the 10 metre line. The ball is stolen there by Charlie Slevin. Very powerful player, Charlie Slevin. And uh, Carrigan Shannon can come forward once more. Irla Martin, hand off. Gets a nice pass to Sean Gaffney. Sean dancing feet in the midfield. Gets it back to Jack Mulick, and he now takes the ball forward. This is Jack. Jack passes it back now, but the ball went forward. It's going to be a scrum to Money Bay. And just slipped from the grasp of Matthew French on the Carrick and Shannon side and it'll be a put in to Monty Vey. So, Sean, Sean, Gaffney goes to out half and Jack Mulick, man of the match, I would say. Jack really dictated the play. Great kicking game. And he comes off now, the Mohol bass player, Mohol is his school, so Jack, good performance by him, so 29 to Mohol, or to Carrigan Channel rather, put in by Connor Morris, who's really impressed, as has his predecessor at scrum half, that was Rowan Burke, so a kick forward by Michael Lewis, equally impressive player, and good covering there by the Carrigan Shannon men, and uh, the ball went forward, it's going to be a scrum to Monty Vey. Referee blows his whistle. And some good field position for Monty Vey. Can they get the score that they deserve? This Monty Vey team has put in a, a good performance. They came up against a very strong Carrick and Shannon team, but they certainly deserve to be on the scoreboard. And let's see, can they engineer and muster up a score from this attacking platform? They can go right or left, straight in front of the, the post. And uh, Connor Morris will feed the scrum once more for Manny Vey. And uh, referee Martin McDonald. Right, makes the sound of crouch, bind, and here's the put in. Manny Vey have it. Connor Morris plays it backwards. And the kick forward came from Brian O'Shaughnessy. And it's back on the Carrigan Shannon side now with Ronan Connolly. So, Ronan, what a great. Burst to speed by Ronan Connolly, he needs support. He gets past Cormac Morris, but he can't get past Michael Lewis and he's got a foot in touch. The touch judge on the far side has signalled a line out and that touch judge has signalled for the last time of the game, Carrick and Shannon have won the Connacht League Division 2 B for 2022, 2021 rather, and they celebrate in the middle of the field there with their coach and credit to Carrick and Shannon for an excellent performance all around and uh, their coaches were Pori Gleeson the forwards coach, Seamus Connolly the backs coach and Angus Martin the head coach and their team have prevailed against a gallant Monty Vey team coached by Mike Gannon the head coach, Kevin Lewis the forwards coach, Callum Ford the backs coach and Paul Brennan, the manager. But some great performances as the teams shake hands in a sportsman-like manner. Both teams played the game in a very, very good spirit. And some outstanding performances on both sides. From the Money Vey side, you have to say Patrick Quinn had a great game. A tight head prop. Joseph Healy committed well in the second half. Michael Lewis 
at out half was excellent. Rowan Burke in the first half, Cormac Morris in the second half at scrum half. Josh Loeb made some great breaks and made some good tackles, as did Shane Lally and Niall Fleet. But it just wasn't their day. Carrick and Shannon had a very strong performers in uh, their front row was very strong. But Sean McGreevy, particularly in the, ba- in the back row, second row, the near the Martin, Alistair Euston. And Rowan and Connolly made up a very powerful back row division as they're greeted now by their supporters on a very comprehensive victory. Oren Byrne and Jack Mulek were arguably one and two for man of the match in terms of their performance. Jack Mulek edging the man of the match from this observer's point of view. And then great performance in the back row by Charlie Slevin and uh, Rian Costello. Alex Copley got a great try as well, so the substitute. So the scores came from Irla Martin got the first try. Sorry, shot Ronan Connolly got the first try after 30 minutes, then Irla Martin after 19 minutes. And then the second half tries came from Alex Copley, 20 minutes into the second half. And then the final try came from Alistair Euston, 30 minutes from the end. So, powerful performance by the Carrick and Shannon team. They are deservedly the Connacht League Under-14 Division 2B champions for uh, 2021. And the presentation will take place now. In front of the stand here, we'll give you, bring you the presentation in a moment. So, captain will receive the shield or the cup. There were two shields last week for the winning captains in the under-17 uh, tournament. And the captains will, captain will be presented with a shield here again today by Adrian Leddy of Craig's Rugby Club and Connacht. Rugby branch. Niall Quinn, the Craig's man, um, is or- organising the presentation ceremony just in front of us here. Niall. And uh, the players line up for the presentation. And we'll bring you the presentation now momentarily as I won't I won't I won't delay I, I, I won't delay uh, so Adrian Leddy now just uh, like to welcome all the people here from uh, both Carrick and Shannon and Monovay uh, here today uh, like it's great to see such a, a turnout for a, an under 14 game and well played to both teams in, in the conditions here today congrats to, to Carrick and Monovay like for a very sporting game and, and, and well done lads Delays four teams in a very sporting game. So Adrian Leddy doing the presentation. I want to thank uh, your management, your coaches, your parents and that there for doing such a good job and that there with you. Uh, in fairness, it, it, it's, it's a, a credit to, to everybody involved in, in the standard of rugby. And it's great to see uh, rugby played in that, at that level uh, at under 14. And... I, w- I wish you well in the future. Continue to, to give the su- support and that there to your coaches and management that's looking after you and uh, keep training and, and someday you'll be on the bigger, bigger stage and maybe wearing the green of Connacht or the green of Ireland. And keep, keep going ahead, lads. Uh, Adrian Leddy exhorting the players to keep working hard and keep training and I wonder, where is he going? I Connacht want to thank the referee Ireland. for doing an exceptionally good job there keeping keeping the game flowing and that yeah. there today Martin McDonald the referee getting the credit and the applause for his job and at this stage uh, I'll ask um, the carry captain and congrats to a very good victory here today and I'll, I'll ask oh, Jack to come forward so Jack Mulek the carry captain comes forward to receive the the trophy and, 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 and in doing this and in presenting this to, to Jack uh, the, the medals the medals are still at sea all the, all the medals for all the competitions haven't arrived yet so we hope uh, at a later date that you'll have your own presentation and that there in Carrick and have, a, have an evening out Jack alright yeah, and, well, and well done thank, thank you, you very much Jack Mulek with the trophy <laughs> receiving the trophy from Adrian Leddy Well done. Enjoy the evening. Thank you. All right. You want to say a word? Jack is going to say a few words. Um, 
I, I want to thank uh, Angus and um, Porrick for all year for their commitment. I want to thank the lads that played super today. And I want to thank uh, Monavay for the great match. Uh, three cheers for Monavay. Three cheers for Monavay. Thank you. So Jack Ludic with the trophy. Now they hold it up and celebrate their victory. So that's the conclusion of the under 14 Division 2 um, league game, league final between Carrick and Shannon and Bay. Victory for Carrick and Shannon, 29 points to no score. That was the presentation. Adrian Leddy hands over the shield to. Jack Mulick, the Carrick and Shannon captain, and a great performance by Carrick. Hard luck to Monty Vey. And that's the end of our coverage of the opening game. But we'll be back in a short while for the uh, Division 1 game, Division 1 final between Buccaneers and Sligo. So join us then for the next game at 2 p.m. So we, we'll uh, be back for live, live, live coverage at 2 p.m. So from all of us here in Craig's for the moment, we'll say goodbye and see you at 2pm for the next game. So bye, bye, for, bye for the moment. <laughs>